Higher. And that's the beginning of Thunderstruck. Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today we're going to do the combination between the two techniques that I showed you in the last two videos being the hammer-on and pull-off technique. Both are used a lot in combination with each other's in solos, riffs and such, sometimes in chords, but mostly in solos. And fingerstyle is of course also a possibility. In the intro I showed you a little bit of the intro of Thunderstruck, uh, because that's a great exercise actually to try and train that. Though that is only used on the second string. It doesn't really matter which string it is, but it doesn't hurt to exercise it on every string, of course. Now, how do we start off with this combo technique? Simple. Let's just try and use our middle finger, which is probably the strongest of the four fingers that we use for this. And let's, for example, take, like in the intro, the second string being the B string. Now you hear on my guitar, there is some distortion and there is some reverb. That does help and it makes it a little easier to get a little bit more volume in these hammer-on and pull-off techniques. You can do it with a clean sound as well, but it's much harder to get a lot of volume, right? So let's take, for example, the second string on the fourth fret. But instead of strumming the string, I'm going to hammer down on it and then pull it off with my middle finger. So like this. All right, so I did a hammer-on and a pull-off at the same time. And you can do that time after time without re-strumming the string with our plectrum or our finger on our right hand. And you can do that pretty fast as well. Now, a good tip for this is when you hammer down and pull off, try to mute the other strings to keep it clean, because if I don't hold my right hand here and I try to do the same thing, you have a whole lot of other sound in there because the other strings are vibrating as well. So just keep the other strings muted with your right hand and then do the hammer and pull off technique like this. And you can exercise this with the other fingers as well, for the example. Right? Using only a single finger without support of other fingers makes it a lot harder to get a lot of power, a lot of strength in the movement. Now, let's try this on the other strings as well. Again, with our middle finger to start up. Let's try the first string, which should be the easiest. The B string. The G string. The D string, the A string, and the E string, the low E string. And you can exercise this with all four of the fingers that we have here. Now with the intro of Thunderstruck, it gets a little bit more difficult because we switch between different fingers and positions. So everything is on the second string, the B string. We mainly use our index finger and our ring finger, but instead of your ring finger, you can also use your pinky finger. It's a matter of habits, right? So the thing is between every note that we play on the fret, there's another note in between where the B string is just played without pushing down. So that sounds something like this. So every time that I hammer down, I pull it off, which just gives the sound of the B string. Now I actually start off by strumming the B string with my plectrum here to start off with a little bit more sound. I can just hammer down like this, but then I don't have the B note to start off with. So I play the B string and then I start hammering down and pulling off.
And then we have the exact same thing, but we go one fret higher and do the same thing. And we switch between those. Higher. And that's the beginning of Thunderstruck. Of course, the intro goes further than that, but it gets a little bit more advanced. If you want to see that, I can show you in the next video uh, how we exactly play the intro of Thunderstruck in its entirety with only using the hammer-on and pull-off technique, right? Guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I also have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Today we're going to do the... T Both are which is probably the strongest of our four fingers that will and you can do that and you can do that time after time after time with and you can do that time after time after time and you can do that time after time without reap and you can do that time after time and you can do that time and you can do that and you can do that a lot of, and you can do and you can and you can and you can exercise this and you can exercise this and you can you now with the inter and then we have the, but and then we have the exact same thing, but we go. Uh, if you want to see that, I'm. If you want to see that, I can do that.